Hey YouTube, today I want to show off this uh, Pimped Emerson Mach 1 that a friend of mine, Sam, lent me. Um, uh, he didn't tell me who pimped this, but judging by the backspacer, this point here, I would be willing to bet that it is uh, Phil Firk. That's kind of his signature um, signature element on his knife is the, the pointed backspacer. But let's take a look at this. So this is a Mach 1. The regrind was done by Jesse Jarris of Jarris Knives. And we see the mirror polished flats and bevels. And mm, it's not so easy to see the grind or the, the, the edge, but it is double beveled. At least I believe it is. Let me see if I can see off camera real quick. You know what? Maybe it is chisel ground like a or, or ground like an Emerson normally would be, where it's only ground on this side. The edge is only beveled on that side. In any event, let's look at Phil's work, which is just phenomenal. So the Mach One originally doesn't have a recurve blade. It has more of a drop point blade, where it kind of just goes like this. And it was, I think it was produced uh, in the early 2000s. I say that because it has these three holes in center lines, and it has a domed pivot, which puts it at an earlier model, like I said, right around 2000. And Ferk, so he did this uh, brown contour G10, which is very comfortable to hold. And you can almost see like a uh, grain pattern in the G10, which is nice. But it is hand contoured, I imagine, on both sides. Has this cool backspacer with a uh, kind of a, gosh, I don't even know what to call that, but it has raised dimples and his, like I mentioned, his his unique and um, kind of his maker's mark there, the pointed backspacer. And he blasted the hardware. So we see the screws as well as the liners are all blasted. And I believe the blade was blasted too, so we can see the spine is blasted. But that when Jesse reground it, he kind of ground all of that off. Um, but it's a, it's a beautiful knife, and I don't know who made the lanyard, but the lanyard is also pretty cool. Now, I've never seen this before. So there's actually two casings here that have been cut up. The larger one is a 40 millimeter, which you can see there. And then the smaller one is a 9 millimeter. So it's kind of cool the way they... Um, the way the, the, they're, they're captured inside one another, and then we have a normal kind of um, square kind of lanyard. But, um, so that's about it. Um, I just wanted to show it off and uh, give you guys a glimpse of another piece of Phil Firk's excellent work. And a really cool regrind um, by Jarus Knives. But, um, all right. Thanks for watching, as always. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them. Uh, throw me a like if you think I deserved it. And as always, be trust to play and geared to slaughter. See you, YouTube.